said we dropped a million rounds of ammo on the Iraqis. Less than a minute remaining in the round. Well, he's looking to drop a few bombs on Paul, Paul Ayala here in the, in the second round. Fletcher is a definite contender for a spot on the Olympic team in the 119 pound class. But he'd like to get this national championship on his way. Ayala just kind of holding on right now. Carries his hands pretty high and has blocked quite a few of those punches. If Fletcher could go back to the body, he could do some damage. But he's hooking to the head for the most part. He is. He's very, very high with his punches. And of course, the head is not quite as easy to hit under normal circumstances as the uh, body. But Ayala, not very good with the head movement, standing right in front of Fletcher, you can see. Sean knows exactly where to find the head, right there, so he's going after it. Look out. Alona Morrison has to jump between the two. Well, it looks like Sean Fletcher's got a little blood on his lower lip. Dominate this bout, but in fact, Paul Ayala has uh, acquitted himself very well over the first two rounds. I believe Fletcher is leading. It's 35 to 20. Fletcher leading now after leading 14 13 after one round, and here's why. As Mel said, he's head hunting and doing a pretty good job of finding that white helmet of Paul Ayala's. Ayala's problem is that when he throws, he stands right there. You can see him, he's stationary. Fletcher does a better job of covering up, and when he unloads, there's Paul Ayala's head. Later second round, another one is a scoring blow. That was two. Two clean scoring blows for Fletcher. And then some pretty good defense back it off. So Sean Fletcher now ahead by 15 scoring blows going to the third round, according to the five judges. Sean Fletcher in the blue. A two-time Navy and Armed Forces champion. And Paul Ayala in the red out of Fort Worth, Texas. He wants to be a police officer someday. Fletcher just wading in and pounding away with hooks, lefts and rights. The most impressive about Sean Fletcher, I think, is his stamina and his upper body strength. His ability to hold uh, Ayala's arm as he just got cautioned for that. Good right hand by Ayala, right to the nose of Fletcher. He doesn't move an inch, though. And Fletcher's been headhunting throughout this bout. He really hasn't gotten to the body at all. I really think that if he did, he'd get Ayala to drop his hands a little bit, and he could be even more devastating with those hooks upstairs. Look at the eyes of Sean Fletcher, the focus, and then the eyes of Ayala. Ayala has kind of a glazed look on his face. He looks tired. Sean Fletcher looks like a hunter out there. Totally focused. Boy, toe-to-toe -to -toe action, but Fletcher's getting the best of it, wearing Ayala down. There's more thunder in his punches. Ayala's trying to trade with him. That could be a mistake. He did land some blows, no question about it, but Fletcher landed the harder shots. Well, the force of the blows, remember, in amateur boxing do not count, but Sean Fletcher's upper body strength is extremely impressive, and I'm sure Paul, Paul Ayala would second that uh, if he had an opportunity to talk about it right now. Of course, the objective is to land as many scoring blows as possible, but when you get hit hard, that still has an effect. It tires out your opponent. Oh, good left hook by Fletcher. Ayala looks very weary right now. Well, this is a, a matter of matchups here. For Ayala, his strength is to stay inside, and Fletcher's strength is also inside against Ayala, and Fletcher, the stronger of the two, is just taking command here. Yeah, my ears perked up when I heard Sean Fletcher had beaten Sergio Reyes twice because Reyes is a terrific amateur boxer. And he'll come in on you. Sergio Reyes will walk right in on you and stay right in your face. And for Fletcher to beat him, he had to pound it out. Reyes a tough little Marine who won a Goodwill Games championship, a U.S. championship, has overcome some hand problems. But Fletcher beat him twice. Back in 1990. Uh, Here we go again, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, trading shots. 1990, uh, Fletcher lost in the quarterfinals of the U.S. Championships to Reyes, but has since taken command of him. Look at Fletcher with feet spread apart, just waiting and ready to slug it out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh, what a left. He really popped Ayala. Fletcher looks like he's in great shape. He is not tired. Ayala looks like he is. Good right hand by Sean. 
Not to take anything away from Fletcher, Ayala has fought a tremendous battle. He has really hung in there and taken some heavy shots from Sean Fletcher, but he keeps coming. Ayala shown he can take a punch, that's for sure. Oh, vicious shots to the head by Fletcher as the bout comes to an end. Terrific action. And you have to admire the heart of Paul Ayala. We told you you'd see some new stars tonight, and you're looking at one of them, Sean Fletcher. Uh, Sean Fletcher missing last year's national championships. He was in the Persian Gulf, and it's a good thing for everybody he was because he brought a few of those bombs back with him. He unloaded on Paul Ayala from the middle of the first round on. Ayala started very strong, but when Fletcher figured out his style, it was all over, and it was a lot of this. Ayala trying to stay inside, which is his strength, Fletcher matching him and beating him almost on every punch. Tremendous action and a heck of a bout by Paul Ayala and Sean Fletcher at 119 pounds. Sean Fletcher undoubtedly adding to his trophy case. He's already won a Navy championship, an Armed Forces championship. To 33, and the 1992 U.S. Amateur Boxing Champion in the Bantamweight Division in the blue corner, Sean Fletcher. Sean Fletcher, the winner, 54 to 33 over tough Paul Ayala. So, our congratulations to Sean Fletcher, the 1992 U.S. champion. Coming up, the hard hitting.